Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is a good day to die. Now we have a little bit of a reality peeking through here. See the sun above my thumb? You can even see it larger. Ah! I haven't gotten blackout curtains installed in my new apartment yet. That will happen soon, but not this morning. So you know what? No big deal. Let's go ahead and just rock out some Dark Souls. Oh, this is my second day. As you can see, we've done about six hours a day. I think I did like a seven hour day and a five hour day or some such thing. But, um, God, I, this is, this is my favorite of all the Souls games I have played thus far. So if you'll recall, we were, um, I don't remember the name of this place. We are in the Cathedral of the Deep. That's right, the Cleansing Chapel. We made a lot of progress right at the very end. We killed the Crystal Sage. In the Road of Sacrifices. And I still think that there's more going on in these woods. Because I haven't fully explored the woods. Um, well, there's the Fortress. The Road of Sacrifices was super cool. Yeah, like, last day off we largely did stuff in the Undead Settlement. Yeah, that was a good day. We got a lot done. The Cathedral of the Deep just blasted right through. So, um, I also just figured out how to do Pyromancy, so I'm pretty excited. Oh, there's Greep. Greep said this place has some of my favorite level design. Greep was also here at the end of last episode, last Friday, also talking about how sweet this level design was and how we couldn't wait for this next follow-up. Oh, shit. Sorry, let me move over here. Come on. Can you rebind gamepad controls? Because the biggest thing stopping me from buying Dark Souls 3. I don't know. The gamepad controls are great. Like the default ones. So yesterday, on the day off, I went down here and cleared out this entire area. Which seems like it's important because there's a giant crystal dragon there. And I assume that what's going to happen is I'm going to work my way up in this area. <laughs> I'm a Monster Hunter player, so muscle memory fucks me up constantly. Yeah. Tell me about it, dude. The day off, Friday games, like, there are so many times when I, um... I just, like, my brain auto-defaults to the wrong game, and I just, like, screw myself over. So I'm not entirely sure how to deal with these mobs. I assume that they are... Oops. Roll back. I assume there's some kind of life. My right trigger is not working. There's my shield, but my slash is, is broken. Uh, uh, okay, we're, we're gonna reboot Dark Souls, because my controller, my controller's no longer working. <laughs> Welcome to the day off, where we're casually rebooting. That's how we do it. It, like, was working. I don't know why it halted working, but, you know. It goes down. Well, our active Strife, who's been a six-year lurker, finally joining us. Hello, Active Strife. I'm here actively trying to do my job. Dude, okay, this, this like, crazy, Ill illusory problem happened yesterday. Um, okay, so I have it. I have two monitors. Here's the one that I'm playing Dark Souls on. Here's you on the second monitor. And here's the camera right in between. I, um... I moved... Or so, my, my, my middle monitor was, like, smaller, it was shorter than my left monitor. So I was like, that's bullshit. So I swapped them. And now the middle monitor is again shorter than the left monitor. And I don't know how this is... There we go. Wait, is, is it sticky? No, it just works now. Alright, great. Hey! I'm gonna assume it's bad for me to just be up here. Because these guys come back to life, right? I think I saw them. A stolen greatsword? Okay, cool. I'll check that out in a little bit. Uh, 
I actually have no interest in killing all these guys, because they just keep coming up out of the ground. Of course, I do want to explore, though, and find out if there's anything sweet here. Is that a secret? Oh, shit! Area. May as well hold up my shield. This is what it's like walking around in L.A. Yeah, there's just more coming out of the ground all the time. More falling around. <laughs> Everyone's vomiting. Just like Los Angeles. This is like West Hollywood right now. Alright, I have an itch. I hope I can scratch it before I fight this crazy... Dude, what is that? Oh, this... This is a version of the guys I fought down there. Hit him! That one's following me, right? So this is... Yeah, so this is overlooking... I was down there in that pit last time. Oh, fuck. I'm just, I'm just gonna exit. Bandai put a full embargo on streamers. I have received no follow-up information from Bandai Namco regarding this. I know that my previous embargo for the stated uh, content is still in effect. As in, uh, there's some places I am disallowed from going to, but nothing new. Oh, coming down. Go ahead and just drink and ask this flask. I hate when I, my bleed kicks in. Yeah, I was talking to a friend right before about the vertical level design. This is exactly what I mean, like... This area is the area I cleared out just moments ago. Ooh, I wanna, I wanna see that. Why is that bleed meter increasing when that... Oh, oh shit. When that hits max, that's when uh, I take a massive chunk of damage. I get over there. Guess I will make my way back there more safely this time. Do I like sandbox or survival games? I really do not like sandbox games almost under any circumstance. What's up? Probably not the. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, I'm so stuck. Oh, you know what? Let me go this way. Hopefully, this reconnects. If I play Bloodborne, nope. Still don't feel like there's a good enough reason to get a PS4. So 
that's where I just was. There better be some awesome... Oh, yeah. Fading soul, and this is an executioner's greatsword. And this is me running. This is me running. Whoa. There's many a not good things from that direction. Okay. Down we go. So this should reconnect back. These are the guys that have the oh fuck. That's really bad for me. I'm gonna have a drink. That was a little bit intense right there. I think the only thing I don't like about this area is I actually can't stop and lean back. Hey. <laughs> Look at him, he's crawling up into the air. Still haven't gotten a chance to look at those great swords that I got. Stayed alive, yes! Alright, so we. I'm gonna work my way through this area. Those the leashes on me? Making that sound? I think I definitely wanna go down here, because there's a lot of goodies. What the fuck is that? Holy shit. Oh, this again, man. Holy shit, look at that. Look right in the top left corner, you'll see him flying over. We're about to hit some blood loss real fast here. Hey! Well, let's try not to die. Ooh, ooh. 
the user DK. Welcome to the intensity. Ooh. Is that... That might be our giant friend. Open. Alright. It's a good day to check out the equipment. So I have my Ithril Sword. Or Erythral Sword. I feel like that might be my giant friend that I made buds with previously. Executioner's Great Sword. Store a great sword. Let me let me do the comparison like this. So this is it's just worse across the board. I guess that's what happens when I'm just dumping all my upgrades into one thing. Oh, dude, we got some messages coming in again. Sorry about the sun. Hopefully, this will set in a little bit. Awesome, 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 awesome. What's my reasoning behind not liking uh, sandbox games, says Law Cakes TV? Yeah, I mean, the thing about sandbox games is that I, I need just a little more structure as a person. I really crave clarity of goals and structure and what I'm going for and what I'm trying to do. Like, when I open up Minecraft, um, my old roommate, Kyla, she was, like, saying that when she sees, like, a big, empty, open plateau... Curse Ward Great Shield. Huh. It's a rear. Where does this lead to? Yeah, she said when she sees, like, a big, open space... She goes, oh, shit, I could build a castle there. And then she gets all excited. And she just sets about trying to build a castle. But for me, I see an open space, and I think, what what do I what am I supposed to do? Wait, wait, wait. So I can't actually use it properly, right? And it's heavy as hell. I want. I want. I want to hold it though. That's a cool ass shield, dude. Let me go back to my crest shield. And what is my what is my character at right now? Twenty five strength. Do I consider Factorio a sandbox game? So here's the thing about Factorio is that in the missions where it was like, here's what you need to do. Oh shit. Here's what you need to do. You need to quickly get uh, a car going. Or you need to now build some science facility level one. Research automation. Like, in those um, early missions, it established really clear goals for me. And I was really excited to do those. I had a blast playing those missions. But as time went on, I started to be like, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh. Oh. I can do a ladder kick. Now, normally this is exactly where... Oh, shit. I see where this is. This connects to this downstairs area. Right. And that's where the giant moth monsters are. Shit, run away from them. Run! Run away! Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, that's generally why I'm not the biggest fan of sandboxy type games. Because, um... I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't really... And in a lot of circumstances, if someone was just like, here's the things that you need to do, and it's a big challenge to get there. And I go, oh, I like challenges. Yeah, I always totally do that shit. I will like it quite a lot more. Oh, shit. I see how this is designed. Okay, so the way that this thing works... Oh, my God. That's so cool. Holy shit. Okay. 
So way off in the distance over there is the undead burg, right? Or the undead town. And then up there is the tower where there was the giant guy with the ballista. So it's connected over to this area. So it's actually the same guy firing arrows in both in both places. So the fact that we befriended him then, he actually is our friend. And then this, so there's the cathedral right there that's directly in front of my face. And you'll see that I can actually, oh, look at that, that's great. So I can easily connect all the way back up to here while avoiding that bridge that's over there. Ah, this is what I love about the level design, Greep. You are so fucking right, man. This is fantastic. I thought the view is sick. Red bug pellet. that is, but I'm going to back up just a touch. Oh shit. Having a drink. back for a moment. Just look around. I hear a guy. Oh, there he is. Hey, here I am. Hey, man. Ow. I like structure and I like goals. And it doesn't need to be too extremely structured, like now, Sean. Now is where you go here and do this thing. I'm actually fine with something a little more general, like, Welcome to Diablo 3, build your character. Because I can, I can very quickly establish clear things to work towards. So down there... Right above where my soul counter is, that's where I fought that giant crystalline dragon. The user says, really impressed with the flaming arrow when it zips past you. Yeah, I mean, it's... The audio in this game is, is truly a step above the previous Souls game tag. idea what this is. So that's, that's the down crack area where I used to, where I was for a moment. Those noises just unsettle me so hard. Whoa. Running, leaving. Drink seems nice. Woo! Woo! Farkinator says potential is a word people used to describe someone who hasn't done shit. 
I think it's a uh, pessimistic way to put it, but yeah, I think it's fair. Oh shit. I love the physicality of their animation, where it's just like, it looks so heavy. Regaining Estus Flasks every few hits or something? Because I feel like I am. I feel like I most definitely am. Did I just miss that? No, 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 that's... A level below. I came from up here. Oh. See how this guy died. I'll look at him in his wizard hat. Oh. I can go up or I can go right. I can go up onto this side. No, I can't go onto that side because it doesn't quite connect. I think I'm gonna go up because I see a little a little weenie there. Oh Some red bug pellets. Okay, so since this is the cathedral connection, I feel like I want to go this way. So that looks a little heavy for him, so he probably has like a slow attack speed. Oh fuck, why didn't he get stunned? Oh! Having a drink, having a drink. Wacka, wacka, wacka. <laughs> I'm a kind of expert. I think I'm gonna go up because I see a little weenie there. Yeah, man. Look up Disney Weenie. It's in there like less than. Oh. Ah. Those little jackasses. Oh. Ah! Just throwing knives at me. Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. Yeah, where there's like a little, there's something pretty and interesting that draws your attention. I feel like this connects back to the cathedral. Okay, so this is also a staircase that leads up there. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see how this connects. I don't know what this little acid stuff on me is, but that's kind of how Dark Souls work. You never really know what the hell's going on. Alright, I bet you dollars to donuts this loops back to the... Nope, nope. 
No, no, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not make that bet. But I bet you that this reconnects back to the. No, no, no. It obviously doesn't. I can just see it right there. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Times a million. This whole game represents a red, black, white deck in Magic perfectly. <laughs> it's a pretty damn good description. Oh shit, one of these. Come here. with how I did that one. Grave Warden Wrap. What's your favorite magic set? My fiance, I just got a box of Gate Crash. I really love Return to Ravnica. Like, I adore Return to Ravnica. are rebuilding. Totally. And I have no idea why or under what circumstance. Maybe it's the kills that I get. Hey, guys. Thank God! Should just turn around and run, dude. I there's got to be a reconnection point somewhere around here. I mean, there's the cathedral right there. Maybe I've gone the wrong way. Shit. And there is the bridge that I landed on. When I left Lothric. And that is really, truly beautiful. Shouldn't have blocked. Just turn around and run, dude. Okay, I actually think that this is the wrong way. I, th I, I, I bet you dollars to donuts. There's a connection around this way. I bet you there's a connection in here. Oh, fuck. Run! Liking the beard, dude. Gonna have to just fuck her up. Oh, fuck! you
I have any more embers? Yeah. Holy shit! Almost walked off to my death. No way, how does this can- oh! That was scary, dude. Whew. God, I'm still like shaking up, dude. Okay, so I gotta figure out a way actually to go. No, 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 that's. have to go this way and then it'll go back down again let me double check something because I feel I feel like I'm missing a connection point because there's the cathedral that I kind of want to get back into but I don't know how to get back into it oh I'm gonna use a restroom we're gonna be right back we're gonna listen to some creeps it's gonna be good oh we're on a break BRB